gentlemen, good morning and welcome to Career Week. My name is Marvin Wong and my topic for today will be a career in advertisements. And Stop! I'm... Why? Advertisement is not the job. An advertisement is the product. Advertising is the job. Gus is right. You can make advertising a career, not advertisements. But advertising is a verb. But it can also serve as a noun. In your topic, making a career in advertising, the word advertising is a noun. Anyway, Marvin, you have been practicing for almost half an hour. Perhaps you should take a break. Hey, Lina, guess what? What? I just met Chet Gurustam near the canteen and he asked me to pass you a message. You are going to speak about a career in law, am I correct? Yes. Well, so is Indra. Oh no. That's not the worst of it. Since the two of you share the same career topic, he wants both of you to present the subject together during career week. What? No way! Come on, Lina. Chit Guru Sam is the teacher in charge of career week. You can't refuse. What's wrong, Lina? You look pale. Yeah, you look like you've just seen a ghost. Well, almost. A ghost of the past is coming back to haunt me. Wow. I have never seen Lina so upset about sharing a presentation. Guys, um, can I continue my presentation, please? Ah, uh, yes, but please change the word advertisements to advertising. No, I am sure I am correct. I overheard what you were discussing as I came in just now. It should be advertising. You know, Gus, I'm always helping you with your English and now you're correcting mine. Thanks, Zoo, for giving our career week a great start. We've just lost two speakers, Lena and Marvin. Hey, what did I do? Today was a depressing day. Good use of the adjective depressing because it describes how your day was. Stop looking at everything from the language perspective. I'm sorry Gus, but hey, you said language perspective. The word language in your phrase is an excellent example of a noun being used as an adjective. Will you ever stop? You see, that's the problem when you, you, cyborgs don't understand humans. I'm not a cyborg. I'm a certified human assistance operating system. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What is upsetting you? I've never seen you this bitter. You see, I hate Marvin and Lena. Why? Aren't they your best friends? No, they're not. Well, uh, I don't know. Now, I'm confused. Is it possible to like and dislike someone at the same time? Look, I don't want to talk about it. Please leave me alone. to speak to you. Well, I'm not interested in speaking to her. Lina, whatever happened between the both of you happened a long, long time ago. Five years and three months, to be exact. Lina, we were all only in year six. I mean, we were little kids then. Kindra was my best friend. She shouldn't have done that to me. I wanted Black Beauty. It was my prize. 
Yes, but at that time, she wanted it too. Listen, Chaos, I'm... I'm sorry I shouted at you yesterday. Apology accepted. Are you feeling better now? <laughs> Slightly better. I talked to my mom about the problem and she gave me some advice. Oh, what did she say? Well, as team leader of Career Week team, I should be able to bring the members together despite our differences. That's correct. So, how's our English today? Very good because I noticed a good use of adjectives and nouns. Why don't we take a look? We'll start with your friend, Zurida. You are going to speak about a career in law, am I correct? Let's look at the phrase, career in law. Law is a noun. Yes. But in this phrase, law is describing the type of career. So law is functioning as an adjective. So, Law career is an example of how a noun can function as an adjective. Correct. Now let's look at another similar type of phrase that Dorita used. And let's see if you can spot the noun acting as an adjective. Watch this. Since the two of you share the same career topic, he wants both of you to present the subject together during career week. I got it. The phrase is... Career topic. Good. Would you like to try explaining it? Okay. Career is a noun. But in the phrase, career is an adjective because it defines the type of topic. Right? Well done. I'm beginning to enjoy this. Were there any other similar phrases? Yes. In fact, you used it. Can you guess? Show me. Stop looking at everything from the language perspective. I remember that line. See, language is a noun, but in the phrase language perspective, language functions as, as an adjective because language is describing the type of perspective. Absolutely correct. Now, you must remember that the opposite is also possible. What, that the adjective could function as a noun? Yes, but we'll keep that for later. Hi guys. Hey Marvin. Gus, I um I looked it up. Yo, you're, you're right. Advertising is the right word. I'm sorry about yesterday. What happened yesterday? I don't remember having any problems. Well, okay guys, 5J is using the hall on Saturday morning. Therefore, I suggest that we have our final rehearsal on Saturday afternoon instead. Say, 3 o'clock. 3 p.m. on Saturday? No, sorry, I can't. Dude, you have to come. There is no excuse. Any other day or time would be fine with me, not Saturday afternoon. Well, unless you have a valid reason, I'm afraid I will have to tell Inchik Rustam. Uh, but Zoo, isn't Sar Saturday that special day for you? It is because my Saturday afternoons are reserved for Miss Chan. Miss Chan? Who's that? Is, is that the grumpy old spinster who lives a few doors from your house? Yes, that Miss Chan, the retired teacher. Let's not call her grumpy, okay? But you were the one who told us she was grumpy. Yeah, I thought so, until I got to know her better. Actually, she's very nice. She's just lonely and needs some friends. And what do you do for Miss Chan on these Saturdays? Well, I help her clean her house, and sometimes we do her garden together. You? Gardening? Zoo, you and I have been best friends since year one. You've hated gardening for, for as long as I can remember. Yes, I don't like gardening, and I know that Miss Chan doesn't really need my help. Ladies, ladies, I don't get any of this. 
Zhu, you don't like gardening. Miss Chan doesn't really need your help, and yet you insist on going there every Saturday afternoon. And messing up our career week rehearsal, which is important. Don't you get it, boys? Get, get what? what? Zhu goes over, not really to help Miss Chan do her chores, but to keep her company. It is nice to see her all excited when, we, when I arrive at her house. She's always making something for tea, asking me about how my week was at school, about you guys. Wait, she knows about us. She thinks you should make up with Indra, Lina. And... What? You told her about Indra and me? You have no right to talk about it. How could you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lina, let her finish. Ms. Chan feels that in any relationship between parents and children, brothers and sisters, or even among friends, there will always be a time when we will have disagreements. But we must overcome these obstacles in order to keep the relationship going. That's what she said, Gus. How did you know? That's what my mother said. The strong must help the weak. <laughs> you know, Gus, that gives me an idea. You know my neighbor Susie? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I'll go over tomorrow and offer to bathe her cat. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> you know, do, don't worry about Saturday afternoon. I'll try to get the Interact Club resource room for our rehearsal on Saturday morning. But you better be there. Thanks. You did well today, Gus. No, not really. It was actually my mom and Zoo's neighbor, Miss Chan, who had the answers to our problems. I suppose old people are wise, and the wise know many things. That's true, but as I observe you and your friends, Gus, I must say, the four of you are quite wise yourselves. By the way, I heard some excellent usage of adjectives just now, so why don't we look at some nouns that function as actives? Oh, what are we waiting for? Roll tape! <laughs> That's what my mother said. The strong must help the weak. I'm impressed, Gus. You used two very good examples of adjectives functioning as nouns. Strong and weak are adjectives, but in your sentence, you used them as nouns. You know, Chaos, I'm really beginning to like speaking English. You see, Gus, the more you use English, regardless of the mistakes you make, the better your command of the language. Now let's look at another example. Here you have used the same word, both as an adjective and as a noun. Watch this. I suppose all people are wise, and the wise know many things. Our word is wise. So which is the adjective and which is the noun? In the first sentence, the word wise is an adjective describing old people. Correct. In the second sentence, the word wise functions as a noun. Correct again. Hi Indra. I'm surprised to see you here. I got an SMS from Lina asking me to meet her here. Listen, Lina, I have something for you, and I really hope you'll take this. This book rightfully should be yours. I've never opened it. I've kept it since our UPSR prize giving day. My black beauty, Indra! In Indra, I... I'm so sorry, I... I was so childish. So was I. I'm truly sorry for what had happened. I missed you all these years. Indra, you kept this book for five years. Five years. And three months. To be exact. Looks like you two have a lot of catching up to do. And while you're at it, Lina, I suggest that you Discuss your career week presentation. I'm glad Lena and Indra are back together again. What about Marvin and you? I'm also delighted that Marvin and you are friends again. You are delighted? I thought you didn't have any feelings. No, no I don't. Just using as an adjective. 
So, what are we going to revise today? Well, I think we should just take a look at some of the other adjectives we use today. So here it goes. What's wrong, Lena? You look pale. I have never seen Lena so upset about sharing a presentation. Today was a depressing day. What is upsetting you? I've never seen you this bitter. Indra was my best friend. We were little kids then. Is that the grumpy old spinster who lives a few doors from your house? To celebrate our friendship, I have a special surprise for all of you. Wow, how nice. Please, please tell me you want some big lottery somewhere and you want to share the prize money with us? <laughs> hey, that's a good use of a noun as an adjective. What? Here we go again. Another English lesson. It's okay. We may learn something from this. Go ahead, Gus. You see, friends, Marvin used the phrase prize money. So the word prize is... My future happiness. I mean in grammar. A noun. Correct. In the phrase prize money, prize is used to describe money. So... I got it. Prize is an adjective. Very good. Therefore, the phrase Prize money is a good example of a noun being used as an adjective. Absolutely depressing. So, what's your great surprise anyway? <laughs> Over the past few weeks, all of you have been curious as to how my English has improved by leaps and bounds. And in such a short time. Ah, uh, I knew it. It's not just a website, just a game, is it? You've had a secret English tutor, right? Sort of. Is it a he or a, a she? You are not going to believe this, but it's neither. You've been learning English from your pet cat. Gus, let's cut to the chase. Who is this secret tutor? Ah, you are going to meet him very shortly. Okay. So it's a male. Stand back a little, please. Virtual coach from Just a Game. Hello everyone, I'm Chaos. Chaos is here to help me in, well, to help us improve our English. Hi, I'm Zurida. Hello, Zurida. I'm Lena. Hi, Lena. I'm Marvin. Hello, Marvin. It's good to see you all. Okay, so. Let me get this straight. You are a virtual computerized character and... So how are you able to be here in the flesh? That's a long story. Chaos will tell you sometime. But now, we've got career week waiting for us. Let's go. Hmm, what's wrong? 
Yesterday was a challenging day for Gus and a confusing day for me. He said they were his friends and yet he was angry with them. I think he likes his friends very much. Which is why perhaps he got angry when he felt they had hurt him. I see your point. But today was a historic day for you. You got to meet the others. Oh yes, it was quite a change for a lonely virtual character to now have so many human friends. Wait, did, did I say lonely? Yes. Well, that's funny. I'm not supposed to feel lonely. You know, Mentor, I'm beginning to think I'm slowly becoming more human, at least in feelings. Only time will tell, Chaos. Regardless, today was a great day. I'll always cherish it.